Thank you for that. A look at the 76ers starting group. And the small and power forwards are Thibel and Harris. Maxi out there with Harden. And it's Embiid in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Clippers, post tandem for him, Morris and Zubats. Then there's Batum. Then there's Jackson. And it's Coffey in at the two guard. And for those teams that suffered a harsh ending to last season, Greg, what are they feeling here on opening night? I mean, motivated. You, you think about that kind of thing all summer, and the chance for retribution starts now. Now here's Jackson. On the wing, but two. Zubats against Embiid. Stolen by Harden. He passes to Thibel. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And the first of many to come. Explosive offensive talent on both sides. And that's the story of the league right now. Most any team can beat any other team on any given night. Here's Coffin. Screened by Zubac. And he uses both hands to jam it in. That's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. Oh, right. And what the timing ideal? My goodness. The D with no chance to react. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. And that's on a bound. Philadelphia will retain possession. Here is Harden. Harris looking it over. Here's Embiid. That misses off the back row. And it's Batum with the ball. Bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Jackson kicks to Batum. Let's it go with a three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Their last encounter was in Philadelphia. Well, they were on the wrong side of a very close matchup last time they met. But what a great game. Count that one. And the sheer size of him poses so many problems for the opponent. And he's using it well to score inside against him. Zubac finds the tomb. The three-pointer no good. The 76ers have gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Bible on the wing. Harden against Batum. Harden the pass to Embiid. Off target from three-point range. Clippers have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And stolen by Thibel. And the dunk by Embiid. And if you want to talk about a player who embodies the power game, then Embiid's your man. You, you know you're going to get some strong finishes anytime he's on the court. And here are the Clippers now. 76ers getting the bucket. Zubats. And the rejection by Embiid. Here's Maxi. And slam dunk by Maxi. And arguably no one in the NBA draws more attention than Harden. Part of why that he creates so many opportunities for others. And let's go to the 2K leaderboard to see the teams that blocked the most shots in the NBA last year. Well, 76ers in second. Well, talk about rim protection. Last season, they were patrolling the paint, rejecting shots at will. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Jackson passes to Zubats. Outside, Batum drains it from beyond the arc. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter steal, but not who you want to leave open. Here is Harden. His last outing, he had 24 points. And a guy like Nick Batum, all but written off, he went through a rebirth after joining the successful Clippers. Right, you think about Nick Batum, he had to deal with so many injuries. You forget how complete a player he is when healthy. He showed just how important he can be for an elite team. Now, here's Zubats. 
Now here's Jackson. Five on the clock. Tipped away. And stolen by Feibel. Harden outside. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. For three. He's off on that one. The Clippers go the other way with it. That one is good from Joel and B. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for the 76ers? They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. There's something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. Jackson, that's good. And with a quick first step, Jackson remains a threat to drive on any defender. And here now is Thibel. Embiid wide open. Trains the three-pointer. Embiid's got nine points. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Three-pointer and another three for the Clippers. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now here's MB coming off a solid outing against the Lakers. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. And here is Los Angeles now. Six-point game. Takes a three. And it's James Harden with the rebound. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Bible, the pass to MB. And Harris, wide open, he shoots another three for Philadelphia. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Clippers have gone 50% from the field at this point, four of eight. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on MB. You know, there's a toughness and an energy about Marcus Morris that elevates any team he plays for. This guy is an incredible teammate. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Doris, you look at Marcus Morris, a very solid three and D type of forward. That's exactly right, because think about it. Morris, early in his career, there was a reluctance to shoot the range shot. He was more mid-range guy, but credit him for putting in the work. Now Marcus is a deadly three-point shooter, and he brings a size and physicality on the defensive end. And he makes both free throws. For the 76ers, the last game, a win against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Harris finds Embiid. Shoots over Zubat. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist from Tobias Harris. 14 points for Joel Embiid. And the Clippers call time here. Joel Embiid with a strong contribution in this one. Boy, much needed timeout. This guy scoring at will, and they've had no answer.
Let's take a look at numbers for Reggie Jackson, how he did last season. Put up about 10 points per game, three assists, and three rebounds. I mean, the numbers aren't bad on their own, but, but he knows that he can help this team in a bigger way. And sometimes it comes down to the flow of the offense. One night it's your night, another night perhaps it's somebody else's. Here's Jackson. 14 points from him the last game against the Nuggets in Denver. He was also an excellent setup man as well. This guy was cutting the defense to shreds with incredible passing. And, and Batum brings length and a versatile game to his spot on the wing. And, and his defense, always a big asset for this team. He's the kind of player that everybody needs to have out there. Kind of a glue guy. For Los Angeles, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. And one of the highlights last year for Shoot this two. group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. And the first one at the line is good. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Well, it was the Clippers. Their last game, a loss to the Nuggets. Harden finds Heibel. Back to Harden. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Lost to Embiid. Six on the shot clock. Driving the lane. Count the basket. Embiid's got 16. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Clippers trail by nine. Jackson passes to Zubats. Right wing. Outside Jackson. And stolen by Feibel. Takes the 13-footer. And Harris gets it to go on the assist from Harden. Harris has got his second basket of the game. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Shoots the three. And Marcus Morris with the three. You have now got to respect the three-point shooting ability of Marcus Morris. He understands now he's got to take that shot. Now here is Harris. A 20-point game for him in the win against the Lakers in Los Angeles. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboard. What a complete game for this guy. George Niang, he's checked in for Matisse Thibel. Now the pass to Hartenstein. Batum standing the floor. They set the pick beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Harden the pass to Embiid. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got four assists in the game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Clippers trail by 10. Passes it to Hartenstein. From past the arc. The shot will not fall. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Harden kicks to Embiid. Down low. Here's Nian. Lays it up and banks it in. And the 76ers lead by 12. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Jackson, a screen on Harris. Over to the left wing. There's the pick. Six to shoot. And the call will be against Harris. That is his first foul of the game. Doris, there's much argument over how the MVP award should be decided. Whether it's stats, time on the floor, the intangible, with the winner, with the loser. What criteria do you use when you vote on that award? Well, there's so much that goes into this because, number one, how skilled are you? You have to be one of the most skilled Walk. players in the league in my Side estimation. Out. Number two, how much do you influence winning? But the fact of the matter is most MVPs finish in the top two or three in their respective conferences. So that's another criteria. 
I'm just going to say this to you. I will actually poll NBA players as I come across them in the season talking about these awards, these first, second, third team all NBA, because they're the guys lining up opposite and know what goes into what these guys do. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now, here is Harden. He is still scoreless so far in this one. From 12 feet out, Maxi, no good. Clippers trail by nine. Jackson finds Kennard. Here's Mann. This one for three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. The defense a step slow, and you can see the result. Here's Harden on the wing. And he gets it to go. And the 76ers lead by eight. And one of the most creative scores the league has to offer. Harden specializes in sinking those tough shots. Gennard with a screen on Harden. Here's Jackson driving in. I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Master Maxi. There's the three. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. How about the laser focus on that jump shot? Pays no attention to the nearest defender. To the inside. Banked in off the glass. Ten points for him. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. Philadelphia leading by seven. Niang passes to Jordan. On the wing, Harden. Guarded by Jackson. He takes it in. And slam dunk by Maxi. The B just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Here's Hartenstein. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Let's it go from deep, and again, it's the Clippers from deep. Well, you can tell that Mr. Morris doesn't lack for confidence. Ready to shoot as soon as it touches his hands. To the middle. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Here's the 2K leaderboard with last season's best free throw shooting teams. The Clippers, number one. You know, they made that a point of emphasis a season ago. I mean, they spent a lot of time in practice drilling their free throws. And I think it really paid off with the best percentage in the league. Now, here's Maxi. He picked up 21 points in their last win against the Lakers. And what opened things up for him was his passing. He was making so many plays that the D had to play off. Him. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. Pass to man. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Harden against Jackson. Just five to shoot. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Up high to stop the alley-oop. Well, this guy is such an astute offensive player. Marcus Morris is solid at realizing when it's his opportunity to take the shot. Jackson against Harden. The pass to Maxi. Jordan the screen. Maxi passes to Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Well, this is often how DeAndre Jordan gets his points in a set offense. Off the roll. Clippers trail by six. Outside Jackson. There's the drive. What a terrific move that was. Jackson's got six. 
And good to see Jackson finish closer in. Not a guard who just chucks up threes can find the creases with that handle. A big-time effort for Joel Embiid, providing a lot of energy for Philadelphia. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. And we'll be back with you shortly. And staying hungry, Joel Embiid continuing to improve every season. You know, coming into this year, you know, I just wanted to, you know, take advantage of, you know, every single day. Uh, you know, just making sure I was in the best shape of my life. Now he's already made huge strides in his conditioning, and it shows. Not satisfied yet to win that MVP trophy, but he is more than capable. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And uh, guys, what's, uh, what's your take so far in Philadelphia? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So on the floor for Philadelphia. The stars of this team in the post, Harris and MB. Harden out there with Green, and it's Thibault in at the three, the small forward. Now Harris, after Robert Covington missed from long range. The 76ers with another miss. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Paul George has taken some heat in recent years. He says people get so caught up in what other folks think. I'm Paul George. I don't care to be anybody else. I am who I am. You love it or you don't. Simple as that. Guys with his player on the floor, he has answered all of his critics. He is certainly playing at an elite level. EA, thank you. The 76ers shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. The free throw drops for MB. All right, Greg, you're a lefty. You're on the call tonight. Here we are courtside. Who do you think is the best left-handed player currently in the NBA? Oh, it's the beer. James Harden, Kevin, no question. But Zion's going to be carrying that torch for us lefties going forward. I have no doubt he'll make us proud. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for Los Angeles. They've only given up one point in the second quarter. That one coming at the line. Here's Mann. A 24-point outing in their last game against Denver. The other thing, he really changed the pace of the game when you consider how many free throws he shot. Going fouls is an art, and really, he has mastered that part of the game. Passes to Harden. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Zubac. The 76ers again can't hit it. Clippers trail by five. Man passes to Zubac. Here's Coffee. Takes it inside. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. For Philadelphia, they've gone 0-4 in the second quarter. Obviously, that needs to change. MB dishes to Harden. Connects from three-point range. Harden's got five. And without a doubt, one of the most advanced scorers this game has ever seen. Harden can do damage from just about anywhere. Batum finds Zubats. Lock at six. And he comes up with the deuce. The 76ers leading by four. Pass to Thibel. On the wing, Harris. Thibel with the ball. They get the rebound. MB. Add another basket to his impressive total. It's his ninth against 12 attempts. 
you see that nasty streak Embiid possesses, part of why he's a superstar. Great motor. A moment to check out stats for MB coming off a terrific season last season put up about 28 points per 10 rebounds and three assists and what is crazy is that these numbers might not even do his game just as he's he's been phenomenal feels like every night this guy does something that just blows your mind so fun to watch someone the other players look up to Man passes to Batum. Clippers moving the ball around. The pass to Zubac. Shot clock at six. To the right side. Here's Man. Off target from outside. And battling hard on the glass. They hold the advantage here so far. Way to attack there and then create the contact. When I think of Ibiza Zubats, I think about solid big man who is still young and developing. It's really a matter of him gaining confidence at this point. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Zubats. Oh, for Zubats is to be a starter in the league. You know, this guy has started games in the past. He's also played well off the bench. And listen, he's not going to be a guy who shoots with range. But given everything else you need from the center, he can deliver. The 76ers leading by four. Harden dishes to Embiid. The three, Harris. He is hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats has got four rebounds in this game. He kicks to Batum, out to the right wing. Passes it to Covington. Three-pointer. Milton grabs the board. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Harden the pass to Embiid. Now, Milton. Just four to shoot. Shoots from the line. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And the 76ers lead by six. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. Well, I'll tell you, I love that he's not afraid to take on the size mismatch there, Greg. Doesn't matter. Just make shots. Here's Zubats. And stolen by Feibel. On the wing, Milton. Pass to Harris. Back to Thibel. From deep. Rebound by the Clippers. Boy, a forgettable night for him, but thankfully his teammates have played well overall. Here's Coffee. 
Back to Zubac. Here's Mann, guarded by Harden. Mann can hit. Not a lot of falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. A nice shot by Embiid. And guys, we've become accustomed to this. Embiid's a dynamic scorer who's comfortable shouldering the offensive load. Now, here's Batum. He's got five. Coffee passes to Zubac. Here's Coffee. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye open. Fibol, the pass to Embiid. Batum with the steal. Zubac with it. Pass to Coffee. Outside Covington. And there's the pass to Zubats. Here's Coffee, defended by Milton. Just five on the clock. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that. And now it's just a 4.76ers lead. This is it to Embiid. Harden outside. Back to Embiid. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And how about the poise from Embiid? Gets fouled, but stays with the shot and able to get that one in the air. Well, free throw drops for MB. Really an underrated part of MB's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer. So you just can't hack away at it. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Hartenstein's checked in for Zubox. Marcus Morris comes in for Robert Cuffington. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Terrence Mann. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Now, here's Batum. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Yeah, not a perfectly set screen there, but got him just enough room to get that shot off. Philadelphia leading by four. Embiid with it. 25 points in the game. Embiid sets the pick for Harris. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. The 76ers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. That's good from Harris. Drafted late in the 2011 first round, Tobias Harris has been traded a few times in his career. And players like Tobias who can bring shooting and length, they will always be in high demand. And Philadelphia making a change here. Jordan's checked in. He hits both from the strike. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. Pass to Hartenstein. Second chance effort, and that's two points on the way up. Hartenstein's got his first two points of the night. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. Niang passes to Jordan. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Uh, just tremendous execution right there. DJ feeling out the defense and doing damage inside. Clippers trail by six. Pass to Hartenstein. Outside Batum. There's the pick. Down to five on the shot clock. There's the triple. Sinks the triple. Batum's got ten points. 
Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Jordan kicks to Harris. Bombs it up for Jordan. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. And that one is good. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the back end. Jackson passes to Hartenstein. And the foul on Harden. That is his first foul of the game. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Danny Green, he's checked in for the 76ers. Jackson passes to Hartenstein. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row. Dump the paint. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. And the pass to Maxi. Jordan the screen. Here's Niang, defended by Batum. Maxi got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Clippers trail by five. Jackson looking it over to the paint. Puts it up from 12. Again, the Clippers. This is where the focus and the confidence of Marcus Morris shows through. This guy's so good at keeping his eye on the target. The 76ers are gone 7-16, shooting just under 50% here in the second quarter. Here's Niang, defended by Batum. Pass to Jordan. Five to shoot. Oh, that's blocked. Here's Kennard, and it's blocked. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. One fifty-eight left in the first half. Back to Jackson. There's the lob to the hoop. Plays it in off a pretty alley -oop. Now just a one-point Philadelphia lead. That's the efficiency you want to see from Jackson. Using his poise and vision to make a play. Harden against Jackson. That's the maxi. One thirty left to play in the first half. Shoots over Batum. The step back jumper is good. Maxi's got four points this quarter. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Back to Batum. And it's blocked by Jordan. The DJ twice on the pipes. No, sir. Get it out of here. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. The 76ers shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. Free throw, no good. Wow, well, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no good on the second free throw. Well, how about the 2008 NBA draft? DeAndre Jordan becomes the 35th pick and becomes an all-star for the first time in 2017. Boy, really an example of what can happen when you put the work in. 
Shot clock at five. Pass to Kennard. From 11 feet away, he squares up and sinks it. Kennard's got five now. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. The pass to Green. The 76ers with another miss. Los Angeles has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Now Jackson. Over Maxi. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Philadelphia ahead. They lead by one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Doc. A high-scoring affair in the first half. Did you think coming in that it would be this kind of a shootout? Not at all. But we're not playing good enough defense to guard anybody. So, you know, we just got to play better day keep the ball in front of us. Doc, thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Greetings, everybody. We love exciting. And this game is delivered as we've seen two top players battling mano a mano. Yeah, man, this is what we were hoping for. The two alpha dogs are squaring off. And when the team leaders are staring each other down, it's extra proud of them. They're bringing out the best of each other. Down, boy, down. And switching back now to halftime of the Philadelphia 76ers game, they're in a tug of war right now. They obviously came in wanting to push the action. And so far, so good. They're looking to get easy transition baskets because the other team is not getting back on defense. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Joel Embiid has been sensational. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Marcus Morris. out there with Hartenstein and there's Jackson and there's Batum and it's Coffee in at the shooting guard that's who's out there for the Clippers Harris kicks to Thibel takes the three that shot no good and B no good and it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They trail by one. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, mid-range jumpers are something of a lost art these days. They're still practiced by superstars like Kawhi Leonard. Coach Ty Lu said, why not work on the shots that teams are giving up? Down the stretch, mid-range shots win games. Playoffs, too. If you shoot it at a high clip, it's just as good as a three for me. And they do shoot it at a good clip, and they rely on it quite a bit. David, thank you. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. And the Clippers making a switch here. Zubats has checked in. Six on the shot clock. Here's Harris. Misses off the right eye. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Batum passes to Zubats. Back to Batum. 
Zubat to screen on Harris. And Nicholas Batum with the slam. And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. On the wing, Harris. Harden outside. Good ball movement here by the 76 Batum with the ball, and it's Harden picking him up. Coffee can't get it to go. The 76ers have gone 0-4 from the field in the second half, yet to find the mark. Inside, Fibol, the pass to Maxi. Harris outside. To the wing right side. Shoots from the elbow. Maxi, no good. Los Angeles has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Spins. Outside Jackson. Outside Batum. Had the space there, but it's offline. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. High post, MB. 25 points in the game. Here's Harris. It's held in by Zubac. Zubac has got six rebounds here tonight. Outside Jackson. Outside Batum. It's held in by Harris. Harris has got four rebounds in this game. He dishes it to Harden. And good that time. Harden's got his third basket of the night. And for Harden, finishing through contact is just part of the job description. He gets bodied up almost every time he takes it inside. And a key part, Doris, of Harden's game lately, his rebound. Right, because his ability to rake and take, get out and transition, make great decisions on the fly, it puts so much pressure on the defense. Passes it to Coffey. Launches it. And the rejection by Harden. Pass to Fiebel. Here's Embiid. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now a three-point Philadelphia lead. And hit on the way up. Embiid strong physically, but also mentally able to keep his focus. Pass to Coffey. High post, Zuba. Outside Batum, Zubac with the screen for Batum. There's the pass to Coffey. Over Maxi, and Coffey gets it to go. Coffey's got 10. Well, the size advantage playing a big part there just calmly rises and fires. 76ers have gone just 25% from the field here in the second half. They're two of eight. He passes to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Jackson against Harden. Just five to shoot. It's held in by Zubac. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Jackson kicks to Batum. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Batum. While we have a chance, let's now take a look at the teams that top the league in shooting from beyond the arc. The Clippers, number one. You know, they went through stretches when they just didn't miss from beyond the arc. I mean, that carried them right to the top of that list. Harden against Jackson. And they double up B. The three from Harden hangs on the trifecta. Ten points for him. Well, Harden is the right option here. He has zero hesitation as a shooter.
Robert Covington checked in for Los Angeles. Mann comes in for Nicholas Batum. Clippers now. Four point game. Covington passes to Zubats. Lock at six. Passes to Mann. Los Angeles with another miss. He is single handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to the basketball at this point. On the wing, Jackson, defended by Feibel. Now the 76ers on the break. Harris with the ball. Maxi, no good. Clippers trail by four. Here's Mann. And the Clippers miss again. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Philadelphia. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Pass to Covington. Here's Mann. Back to Covington. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. They get a hand on it. Nabbing another steal. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. And that one's good. Feibel. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for the 76ers. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. Yeah, and something else that served them well are all the turnovers they've caused and the points that have come along with those. It is good in the 76ers lead. is cut down now to just four in the basket from Jackson. And that defense wasn't enough on Jackson. He's clever and can shoot through that opposition. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. At about an 82% clip a season ago, so I'm sure he'll take those numbers. Kennard, he's checked in for the Clippers. Philadelphia also making some changes. George Niang, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. Green comes in for Matisse Thibel. And it's Jake Milton in for James Harden. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. Pass to Milton. To the left wing. Embiid is at the elbow. The pass to Milton. From 12 feet out. And he connects with the jumper. Maxey's got 13. So it's the Clippers now. Trailing by five. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Philadelphia has gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. Passes it to Niang. Five to shoot. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Here's the three. And the three ball is good. And it's an 8-point 76ers lead. And he gives up some size on that play, but the defender fails to close the gap. It's incredible to me how players have become so adept at creating just enough space to get the shot off. Nicely done. Philadelphia has gone 2 of 5 with a 3-point shot since coming out of the break. Milton the pass to Embiid, and they double up Embiid. Now, here's Maxi. Kennard covering. Here's Niang. And the rejection by Zubas. Here's Mann. He has six. Jackson passes to Kennard. Covington with it. It's up a three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Maxi's got four rebounds in this game. 
and no good as the Clippers taking it the other way. Here's Man driving inside. Going to the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defender. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Here's Maxi. That's tipped. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. In the corner, Kennard with it. Can't tie it up as that one misses. The 76ers leading by three. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Let's see the stat sheet here for Robert Covington. Last season's performance for him. 15th in steals and a top 15 ranking in blocks per game. Supplying that backline protection that is so key to a great defense. And as we saw last season, a difficult guy to run the offense against. Constantly jumping the passing lanes. Always, always a threat to create a turnover. 76ers shooting with confidence. 50% from the field so far. Green taking his time here. Pass to Maxi. To the middle. Here's Embiid trying to end the drought. Good. 29 points for Joel Embiid. Offensively, we see Embiid all over the floor. But inside is where he can really utilize that size. Now here's Jackson. Nine points in the game so far. And here's Covington from the arc. The rebound by Niang. Boy, they can't cut into this lead with him going stone cold and only so much time to turn it around. Here's Embiid. And he drops it in from the low post. And now a 7.76ers lead. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Good on the three-point shot. Now the improved touch of Jackson, especially from range, now making him a multi-dimensional threat. And here is Green. After Reggie Jackson was able to get the triple, Embiid with a screen on Kennard. Green catch to Niang. Embiid inside. Kennard covering. And again, it's Joel Embiid. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Jackson passes to Kennard. Here's Mann. No good on the three. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Green's got himself on the board with three there. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Now here's Jackson, defended by Thibel. Now here's Jackson. Let's it go. No good, shot missing. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. We've got more in store for you right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. So we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Clippers trail by nine, taking a look at the 76ers. Down on the block, it's Harris and MB. Matisse Thibel's out there with Harden, and it's Niang in at the three spot. Now, here's Batum, guarded closer. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Unloads, and Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got 11 rebounds in the game. Niang kicks to Harden. 
and here is Harris. Ashton Yang from downtown. He is hauled in by Los Angeles. Covington's got four rebounds now tonight. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. And the rejection by Embiid. One of the premier shot swatters in the world. The length of Embiid makes it hard to be scored on. Now, here's Thibault. And there's the foul. It's on Nicholas Batum. That'll be his second foul of the game. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Niang kicks to Harden. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Offline with his three. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. And there's the pass to Mann. Now here's Covington. Guarded by Embiid. Down to five on the shot clock. And the Clippers miss again. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Now here's Thibel. Defended by Batum. Off target with his three. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Driving to the basket. It's really clear to me that Marcus Morris has an unshakable belief in his ability to score at will. Philadelphia leading by seven. Harden kicks to Harris. Back to Harden. Out to the right wing. Three-pointer by Embiid. Offensive rebound. A nice shot by Harris. Accepting more and more responsibility over the years. Harris recognizing how good and valuable he is offensively on the backboard. Now here's Batum. Here's the three. Rebound by the 76ers. Still looking for his first triple of the half. He had three at the break. Passes it to Thibel. Launches a three. And the 76ers get it back. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. Covington setting the pick for Jackson. And he drives in, throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. That one on MB. You know Jackson can just fly. I mean, that athleticism and energy is off the charts. good from Jackson and it's Harden with the ball for Philadelphia they've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter Harris with it back to Embiid second chance shot he takes it up and lays it in Embiid's got 12 points here in the second half. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Outside Batum. To the paint. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. He's got 23. I'll tell you, you have to take pride in finishing through contact. You get the sense Marcus Morris relishes that chance. 
Philadelphia leading by eight. Harden outside. And the layup's good off the glass. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Sunday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Phoenix Suns. And then on Tuesday, they'll take on Chris Middleton and the Milwaukee Bucks. And he knocks down the first one. And so he hits both. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. To the inside. Pass to Niang. There's three pointers off the mark. Clippers trail by eight. Here's Jackson into the lane. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's seven of ten from the field. And what a resilient finish from Jackson there inside. I love how he just refuses to back down. Here's Niang. Harden outside. Fires from 14. And again, it's Philadelphia. He has become a pure shooter. And from mid-range, Harris is deadly. Now Jackson. High post, Zubox. Pass to Jackson. Outside for Batum. Here's Coffee. And now he jams it right over Tobias Harris. Wow! Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Was the defense no fighting through the pick no rotation my goodness and that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King Fibol the pass to Embiid Embiid with a screen on Zubac Fibol can't get it to go and guys this has got to be more of a team effort right now he's playing all for himself Outside the two, knocks down the three ball. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Timeout called the 76ers. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that.
the 76ers making the switch here. Maxi's checked in. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He said, this is what we play for, fellas. Let's knock them on their heels right out of the timeout. Show them how much you want it. Go get it. He really is fired up about this game, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. Harden left side. The pass to Thibault. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Poked away and stolen by Thibault. Harris outside. Pass to Harden. The dish to Embiid. Harden kicks to Thibault. Embiid the screen. The 76ers with another miss. When you're not in rhythm with the free ball, why do you keep firing from there? It's tipped. And again, the Clippers turn it over. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. The 76ers leading by three. Pass to Maxi. Embiid with it. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Kicks it out to Harden. Five on the clock. Harris, no good. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the one three, but that was back in the first half. Zubats against Embiid. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. That one on Harris. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. One drops. He ties it up. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the 76ers. And that'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Batum against Harris. Back to Embiid. And the rejection by Zubats. And that'll be Philadelphia as it goes out of bounds. 76ers retain possession. Just five on the clock. Pass to Harris. To stop the drought. A new 14 for the 76ers. That one is good from Joel B. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Over to the wing. Zubats against Embiid. Here's Coffee. Platoon passes to Zubats. Down low. And down it goes. Jamming that one home. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. It's still close, though. These teams have been neck and neck. Let's see the response here. Zubats kicks the platoon. Here's Coffee. Outside Batum. From deep. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Batum's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Clippers. And they double up in B. Here's Harden. Harris outside. Harden surveying the D. Inside. Here's Bible. And oh, but he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It's on Nicholas Petrun. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam. Losing some, some urgency from him there. Sure. 
Mann's checked in for the Clippers. Find the lane. Find the lane. No shot. the free throw, no good. Clippers trail by three. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. And uh, the 76 are shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Harris passes to Maxi. 119 left in the fourth quarter. And the rejection by Zubac. The pass to man, out of bounds, Clippers ball as the Clippers keep possession, and the Clippers call time here. They trail by three. One ten left in the fourth quarter of this one. One ten left in the fourth quarter. Now here's Jackson. Six to shoot. Green by Zuba. Another shot. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. He sinks the clutch free throw. A great job to get the bucket and to get to the line. When the game's on the line, you want your guys attacking like he did there.
50 seconds left in the fourth. Passes it to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Back to Harden. Maxi passes to Embiid. Embiid the screen. Here he goes. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. A two-point game. Here's Jackson. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley -oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. And now we've got the intentional foul. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Take a break. Take a break. Two shot. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And getting to the line better than anyone in the league. James Harden led the league in free-throw attempts during seven of his eight seasons with Houston. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. Greg, this is all about execution. Can you free an open man from the three-point line? That's what it comes down to. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. No choice but to foul there, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Shooting two. the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. That's what you call slamming the door. This one is over. Jackson finds Zubats, but Toom for three, and no good that time. So Philadelphia wins it. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, James. How did you hold on to get the win? Our motto was keep fighting. Like I keep saying, we know how tough they are. Um, we got to keep fighting on both ends of the floor. 
stay in attack mode, be aggressive. Uh, we just kept fighting for four quarters. And you were the last team standing tonight. Congratulations. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Now, let's check out our New Balance Player of the Game, Joel Embiid.